So if you're a kid of the 80s and 90s and you were a Christian and you liked role-playing games, you probably got a lot of flack if you played D&D. &D. And so this came out, this Dragon Raid, this adventure learning system that was kind of an alternative to Dungeons & Dragons and other role-playing games. And it kind of went out of uh, popularity for quite a while. And the IP was bought up. And some of the things that came out of that after the IP was bought up was this first watch trading card game. Well, not really a, a trading card game, uh, but this card game that came out and a couple of mini games that came out. But what was most anticipated was the new Light Raiders adventure Bible system that's kind of the sequel or son of Dragon Raid. So I received mine recently. We are going to pop this open and see what's inside. I was one of the early backers of this, and I'm very happy that this has come out. Looking forward to playing this and sharing this with my kids and maybe the youth group at church as well. Okay, so. So you've got your star lots and your uh, counters that go on your character sheet, your cadet sheet. These are your, uh, basically your character sheets or your cadet sheets. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use Dungeons and Dragons terminology here because that's what I'm most familiar with. So these are your character sheets. You've got a nice little set of them. You can order more. You got two cadet handbooks to share among the uh, party. These are pretty nice looking. They got nice artwork in them. Nice maps in them and things. The rules and introduction. So this is for whoever's going to be leading the adventures. A little note that there was a change to the the game. Maps and discoveries. I love this. This is great. It's nice having this available to you so that you can just pop this out and you can have your uh, kids who are playing this or, or adults. You've got maps already available to you. You have the Initiate's Quest, which is, you know, hey, it's Adventure 1, right? This is what um, you're going to play with, play through with your cadets and teach them the system. Adventure number two, the Priest and the Giant Problem. Very nice, full color. I love it. Looks wonderful. Very high quality. And now we have our, these kind of popped loose here, probably in shipping. Hexaflexagons. Well, they're not hexaflexagons, they're hexagons that are going to go on your uh, maps. You have your kind of counter pages here, so you would your cadets would put their sheets on top of here, and they could keep track of their damage on the left or right side, and wisdom up top with those counters. This is a great addition, and as a bonus, as a backer, I got some custom art there, which looks really cool, and a couple posters that came with it as well. I really love this artwork. I think the artwork looks great. And yeah, so I am really looking forward to breaking this out, playing it, and just sharing it with the youth at church and others who may have been into role-playing games. I think there's just a lot here, a lot to get you started. 
And I'm really excited for this and glad that this has now been given a new life. So I will follow up later with a review once I've gotten an adventure together and played through an adventure and let you know more about it. Thanks for watching.